Fortnite Chapter 5 is here and it's time to make a very, very controversial video. Today, we're going to be talking about the best and the worst in tier list form weapons and items in Fortnite right now. Now, for those of you guys that haven't seen my tier list videos before, we really only have two rules. Rule number one is basically that we don't like to try to bunch up all of our answers in one specific tier. So basically, we keep a nice bell curve shape, which means that there's only going to be one gun or item in rank S, two in A, five in B, two in C, and one in D. Now, the second rule is that I'm a very, very casual Fortnite player. I suck at the game. If you guys have seen my videos before. Oh shit, he has a builder. Fuck. So just take it with a little grain of salt. Feel free to give me your opinion and let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so starting from the bottom and going straight to the top, we're going to go with the D tier, which the first thing on this list, I don't think it's a surprise. It's the ballistic shield. Let me just start off with saying that I really like this update. There's almost not a single thing I would want to be taken out of this update but the ballistic shield has got to go, bro. Somehow Fortnite managed to add an item that was both bad and annoying to go against. I feel like most times you've had your swords, you've had your vehicles, you've had other things in the game that were extremely good, which is what made them annoying. Somehow the ballistic shield is bad, but still annoying to go against with people who have it. I don't know what it is. It's gotta be taken out. And it's the one thing I would say needs to be taken out of the entire game right now. One of the last things I just wanna slide in there as a comment for the ballistic shield, bro. I don't understand how this weapon is somehow of epic purple rarity. Usually all of the things that are purple rarity or even blue or green for that sake are extremely good weapons that you should never find. Somehow it snuck into this rarity of being good when it's just absolutely terrible. I could sit here and rant about this specific weapon all day long. But let's just go ahead and go to C tier here. All right, so going in order with the tier list at the bottom of C tier, meaning closest to D is the cluster clinger. I definitely think that these clusters are definitely an upgrade from the clingers we've had in the past. However, I still don't ever find myself having a use or a need for this specific item. So just because I never carry it, I'm gonna have to put it lower on the tier list personally. All right, so moving from the bottom of C tier to the top of it, I think that this is where I might catch a little bit of flack, but let me know what you guys think. I think the Hyper S SMG has got to be the top of C tier, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the so again, I think we really have this case of just non-usability. Is that even a word? I don't know. That's what we're rocking with. My personal loadout in order is always some kind of AR, some kind of shotgun, a sniper, shield, and regular greenhouse. We're going to be touching on a lot of the items specifically as we move higher up on the list, as well as the guns. I just, all I can say is that the SMGs to me specifically are not as useful as other weapons, but that doesn't mean that the gun is not good. I will clarify for the millionth time over throughout this episode, episode that I think this is a fantastic update. I think a lot of the guns are good. They just will not ever end up in my inventory by choice as I'm playing through the game. That's all. Starting off our B tier on the lower end, we now have the grapple blade. Now this is kind of an iffy position for me. This was probably actually the hardest thing to place on this entire tier list for the idea that there's not much movement in this season. So it has to be on the higher end of movement, but it's probably some of the worst movement in my opinion that we've ever had. I really think that this is just bad ODM gear, even though the damage isn't bad and the movement isn't too slow. I think in my personal opinion i'd rather just have a car that i can just jump out of and not take up a spot on my inventory but i think that's gonna end up being a hot take i will say before we move on from this that i do actually really kind of like the damage that this weapon kind of i guess uh what's the word i'm looking for uh ensues is that even bro my vocabulary has been rubbish this video bro the fact that i even just said rubbish there that's crazy i think the damage that it does is decent i just don't again think it's worth keeping in your inventory throughout the entirety of a game it's decent movement and it's probably some of your only other movement besides impulse grenades which are not on this list so I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. If I haven't pissed anybody off yet, this is exactly the moment that it's going to happen. I can already feel it. Look me in my eyes and look very, very intently. The Ranger pistol is actually really good. Yeah. Okay. Listen, I said it. I said it. I think the pistols are actually extremely useful in Fortnite. I've been saying this since the first season, bro. The, they are actually good. The pistols are actually good. Now the argument of would I ever keep a pistol in my inventory late game? 
absolutely not but i will tell you right now that i'm not mad that they give you a pistol when you get rebooted off the van bro it's actually good i promise you it is now it's not like the rate of fire is quick the damage per second isn't crazy or anything but the damage you do get off of shots that you hit is actually extremely nice just in my personal opinion i'm putting the pistol in b you're just gonna have to live with it i'm sorry but i think the pistols are good Give them a third chance, give them a fourth chance, give them an 80th chance. I promise you they're good, but maybe it's just a skill difference. Maybe that's the issue. And that's where we lost all of our viewership. <laughs> All right, so moving to the middle of B tier. Now we have the Thunderburst SMG, which at the end of the day, it's not too far off from being interchangeable with the Hyper SMG. I just think the distance for whatever reason on this gun is actually pretty good. I'm not usually one to like burst weapons, but the damage from range and the speed of damage, I don't actually think it's that bad. Again, all credit going to my name right now is absolutely going down the drain. Okay, I get it. I don't think that it really matters what I put from middle B tier to the bottom of D. That's not really why you guys are here in the first place, I feel like. So cut me maybe some slack on that, but in my personal opinion, it's not as bad as I think most people think, but it's definitely better than a pistol if you're trying to get to late game. Let me know what y'all think of that. I don't know, that's just that's just my thoughts, all right? That's, that's just my thoughts. All right, so beyond the rant that I had about the pistols, I think right about here is where we start getting into guns I actually truly, really care about, guns I'm really happy to use by the end of the game, so on, so on. So moving toward the top of B tier, we have the Striker AR, which actually might be a little bit of controversy right there, but let me explain. So for a lot of these weapons, I'm talking about the lowest rarity that the gun comes in. I'm talking about the bare necessities, the bare attachments that these guns have. Even if it's just like a randomized attachment gun with, that you pick up off of an enemy that you pick up. I don't know, man. I just think that the striker isn't as good as what it could be. The, uh, the scar, for example, I think that's kind of the gun that everyone compares that to. I just don't think it's as good as everybody says. I think that the biggest thing that brings this gun down specifically is the recoil. And I don't even think it's an argument in that sense. I think that when you have all of the proper attachments on this gun, it's unbeatable. The fire rate is nice, the distance, the damage from distance especially, it's great. But you really, really, really are depending on the attachments that you have on the gun, the situation, and just so on, so on. I think I'm just more comfortable with the Nemesis AR that we're coming up to later. So, so I've had some decent, you know, maybe some flops in there, but I think that this specifically is where people click off the video, and I don't even blame you, but I'm gonna try to slide it in without anybody noticing, all right? Top of B tier. Hammer pump shouty. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. It is your classic Fortnite pump shotgun. But I think there are better options. I'm telling you, I think there are better options. You gotta believe me. Just give me a minute, okay? So as somebody who is transitioning from zero builds into building, you know, I think that the pump is good in the sense of just build. But the one situation I think you really want to pump in is build specifically where you get it edit off of someone and you need, that, you need that quick damage, right? I think that's the one time. But let's just say your accuracy sucks. It's a skill difference. It's your fault, whatever. You are out of of a fight basically if you edit that door that wall whatever and you miss that shot that point of having that pump shotgun is out the window it's gone and not only is your opportunity gone but you had one reason to have that pump shotgun and it was that and you flubbed it right now you'll realize that i haven't said the frenzy auto shotgun and i'm just gonna mix the two right now into this conversation the frenzy auto shotgun is way better the difference between a and b tier is insane okay so the hammer pump shotgun is the top of b it's good but the frenzy shotgun bro the frenzy auto is at the bottom of a and the difference again between a and b is insane so just to finish my thought hammer pump shotguns in b and frenzy auto is in a now going into this frenzy auto shotgun dude oh my god i'm telling you it's different you might not have reasons with me with the pistol but please reason with me right now with the shotgun dude again i will say that i don't feel like i've ever had a, a semi-auto shotgun whatever it is you want to call it right never had a shotgun that was this good that was not a pump dude i was playing yesterday and with a pump shotgun there's a lot less time to shoot but you do more damage in theory right uh 
wrong. With this frenzy auto shotgun, dude, you have to be a little bit close, but I did 100 damage to somebody with a headshot. The exact same distance I did 125 with the pump, dude, okay? So yes, there is a difference in the damage. Of course, the pump should be a heavier hitting shotgun, but for the speed you can shoot at with this frenzy and the damage you can do, it is, in my mind, clear of that pump shotgun. The versatility and just being in someone's box and continuing to shoot. The versatility and just no builds actually just being better. There are so many instances in my mind where the Frenzy Auto is so much better than the regular pump shotgun, but that's just my opinion. Go ahead, light my video on fire. Go ahead and give me a bunch of dislikes, bro. I don't care. I'm dying on that hill, and that's the one I'm gonna die on, bro. I'm sorry. It's just, it's gotta be. All I'm gonna say, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. It's not meant to, but it's better, bro. I promise you, just give it a chance. Just give it a chance, bro, please. God, God. Yeah, I bet you didn't expect a mid-video gritty, did you now, huh? Now, Mushy, why the hell would you do a mid-video gritty? I'm taking this chance to let you guys know if you've made it this far into the video, you obviously have at least liked the video at least a little bit. I just want to say that we now have an epic supporter creator code. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. If you just would, wouldn't mind considering using it when you use your V-Bucks, when you go ahead and buy some more, all that stuff. When you go ahead and buy the gritty in the Fortnite shop, just consider your boy. If, if it, Just if you wouldn't mind, okay? That's, that's all I got to say, and I love you for that okay thank you all right boys the best gun in the game don't know how it didn't make it to s tier but the my favorite let's let's rephrase that my favorite gun in the game okay favorite gun in the game the reaper sniper rifle let me just say that again the reaper sniper rifle dude i feel like i've only ever played with like two better snipers in my entire life and that one of them's gotta be the intervention in call of duty dude it's a different game it's not even fortnite it's literally a different game where the snipers have felt better that's the only other time i can compare this gun with anything else i've ever played with sniper wise dude it's insane not only do you get to have three quick bullets to shoot right but the damage it does the accuracy the just sheer fun i don't think we talk about how fun guns are to use frequently enough dude video games are for fun i love to compete i suck at the game i like to compete but you gotta keep in mind how fun a gun is to use dude and this sniper rifle is legit now again i don't ever keep an smg in my inventory it's always a sniper and i think that just that combo with an ar depends on the ar that you choose but i think you just don't need the smg the sniper is so good and I feel like there's a reason they only put one sniper in the game. It's just so versatile, dude. You can take the scope off. You can put the scope on. It feels like a hunting rifle. It feels like almost a bear. And I wouldn't go that far, but it feels like it's so versatile. I don't like to keep the attachments in the conversation because again, we're talking about just the bear gun when you pick it up. Most times it has some kind of scope. But it's regardless of the point. I'm going on a rant here. It doesn't even matter. It's one of the best guns in the game right now. It's one of the most fun. It's one of the most unique guns we've had. And I really, really, really like it. And I would love to know where you guys are specifically putting this gun because I think it's so good. And that's the end of the rant. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. We're good. Let's move on. All right, so if you've been keeping track and you've been listening to what guns have been used already, keep a check of where maybe your favorite gun is, all that sort. You kind of know what is an S tier and the only gun that's an S tier. The Nemesis AR. I think a lot of people are hating on the the assault rifle-esque gun that's not really, you know, the SCAR. I think in previous games, you know, the SCAR has been much better. But I think the, the accuracy in this gun alone really just totals and clears the past accusations as to which gun's better versus now. Now, going off of that, I think a SCAR is absolutely undeniably better in every form or fashion until this season. The spraying accuracy, I'll mention it again, is so bad, I guess is the word, for the regular Striker AR. I just don't like it very much. I think that this Nemesis is so good. I don't mind, you know, swapping out my sniper for an SMG. I don't mind having a different shotgun, all that shit. But I really, really, really think that this is the one AR that you need, and this is the one gun that can carry you anywhere. I just think that the only downfall is that the Nemesis can be used in short range fights, but that's more like a drum gun to me, in my opinion. I think the Nemesis is just meant for one thing. It does that thing perfectly. You can use it for other things if you want, 
but it's the most consistently good gun in the game. I feel like you just can't hate on it. I really feel like you can't. When people are talking about, oh, reliable, dude, I think we're gonna be talking about this gun specifically for a decent amount of time. It's one of the best ARs I feel like we've ever had. Very consistent, it's very accurate. The attachments don't really make a world of a difference in my opinion, which means that the base gun is just that good. I don't know, bro, sue me. Sue me, bro, I don't know. I don't know. Oh man. Now that we're finally done with the tier list <laughs> and I've lost all of my loyal fans and all credibility and just everything is just down the drain. I want to take a quick second to thank you guys for watching the entire video. Again, I'm a very casual player. I'm not very good at Fortnite. I just enjoy playing the game for the sake of having fun and the sake of competing and the sake of playing time and ha playing time. What am I saying, bro? What? And just having time with friends. It's just, I think it's a great game. I think it's a very, very good update that we've had on top of just all of the things that I feel like Fortnite is gonna bring. I think we're in a good point in gaming right now. And I feel like we haven't really felt this clear about the future and it looking good in gaming in a long time. And I would love to encourage Fortnite to keep doing what they're doing right now. I think that everything that they're adding is extremely positive. I don't really have any negatives besides taking away the goddamn ballistic shield. Please, bro, please, please, please. Oh man, but on a real note, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for showing love to the channel. Please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And now I can say, consider using the supporter creator code on Epic Games on Fortnite. Please, please, please. Peace. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I love to be part.